In lab five, we're going to shoot the aliens. So we're going to add a crosshair to the game and then create events that destroy the alien when the player clicks it in the crosshair. So I'm going to add a cursor object to the game. So I click the insert menu. I click new object. And I'm going to look in the list of left, on the left and find interface. And there's my cursor. I click OK. And I'm going to put him in the gray area. There's a cursor in the gray area right there. Since I want that cr a cursor to look like a crosshair, I'm going to drag the crosshair also into this gray area right there. So now in order to make my uh, cursor into a crosshair so I can shoot those aliens, I have to go to the event, into the event editor. So I go view, event editor. So now I'm going to right click new condition and I'm going to go into storyboard controls and I'm going to click start a frame. And I'm going to right click the cursor over here. I'm going to click set cursor shape and then it's uh, from active object. Set shape from active object all the way in the bottom. And I'm going to type in here between the quotation marks, crosshair. So you got to make sure that this crosshair looks exactly like crosshair down here or it won't work. Okay, I'm going to click OK. <laughs> and now I'm going to run the game. So now you see my cursor is now across here, but it doesn't do anything. So now to set that event that destroys an alien when the player clicks it, I'm going to right click new condition. I'm going to right click the mouse pointer. And I'm going to click here, user clicks an object. And then I'm going to click OK. Then I'm going to click the alien and I'm going to click OK. Now I'm going to destroy the alien. I'm going to go in the alien column, right click and click destroy. Now we're going to test the game. I just click and see, watch those aliens get destroyed. So now I'm going to go back to my frame editor. So I click, click double click game here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, insert a new object. Come to the top here for my scores. I go insert, new object. And I come down here and I click games. And I click score and I click OK. I want to put the score where I want it to go. Kind of hard to see black on black, isn't it? So let's change that. Um, let's click uh, the A up here. So I'm going to change the numbers here to text. Then I click the A up here. And I go down to my red, green, blue RGB. And I choose a color that's going to show up. So now all I have to do is change the font. I click Arial. I choose something I want, could be anything, and then I just make it larger so we can see it, and I click OK. Let's place it, make sure it's placed where I want it to go. Now to make my score work, i got to go to the Event Editor, so I go View, Event Editor. Well, when I click, when I kill an alien, I want, right here, I want it to add, a, add uh, to the score one point. So we're going to get one point every time we shoot an alien. That's what we want to do. Make sure you did it right. Go run. Application. Shoot them. Make sure you, yep, you're collecting those points, aren't you? We're going to save our project and we're ready for lab six. Okay, so to go to lab six, I'm going to uh, open up my game frame, double click game here, my workspace toolbar, and there I am back in game frame. I'm going to add a particle system. 
So we're going to add a particle system that creates a big explosion when the alien collides with the shield. So now what I'm going to do is add the particle object. Here's my particle object, and I'm going to put them in the gray space. Oops, big gray space now. <laughs> I'd like to have that centered. So now we're going to go in the event editor and create the explosion. So I got to go view, event editor. And here we are. So I right click, I click special, and then I'm going to click uh, the on loop. And I'm going to name this explosion, spell it right. You got to spell these things right or not, don't work. <laughs> Capitalization works too. I can just click OK. And now what I'm going to do is in this row, I'm going to click on right click on the alien object. Then I'm going to click shoot an object. So what the alien is going to shoot is a particle. So I'm going to find me a particle. I click OK. Since this is an explosion out again, I'm going to slow it down to 50. I'm going to have it shoot in selected directions. And I'm going to click all directions. <laughs> Just like that. See, I click this button here that selects all directions. And I click OK. Now I click OK again. Now the event editor in the collision between the alien and the shield row, I'm going to go in the special conditions box here and I'm going to right click the box and I'm going to put fast loops and then I'm going to go start loop. In the, okay, I'm going to enter an expression now to calculate between the quotation marks and I'm going to put explosion in here. This is going to be a formula. Okay, so I click OK. So how many explosions do I want? I want 40. I'm going to put 40 in here. I'm going to click OK. So this says the loop will happen 40 times very quickly. So we're just going to test the game. Or run game. So now we're going to see, see it, they're all exploding all over the place. <laughs> we're still in the event editor. We're going to complete these steps to reorder the actions. So that the particle explosion loop happens before the alien is destroyed. So I'm going to go in the View Editor, then I'm going to click the Event List Editor. So now, the reason I'm doing this is because I want to reorder the events uh, so that the collision between the alien and the shield row happens um, before the explosion. So now, um, I'm going to click and drag the start loop explosion 40 times action and above the destroy action. Look here. Make sure I grab the whole thing, not just the icon, the whole thing. Just put it above. Or put this one below, actually. There we go. Same effect. Make sure you don't just drag the icon, just drag the whole thing. Now you just test the, script, test the game. So we tested the game, we let an alien hit the shield, the particle explosion happened, but the particles explode from all the aliens, not just the one that hit the shield. We're going to fix that next. So we're going to add a condition that says which alien to shoot the particles from. So I'm going to go back into the event editor, view event editor. I'm going to right click the on loop explosion condition and click insert. I'm going to right click the alien, I'm going to go collision, overlapping another object. 
So I'm going to hit the shield, make sure I'm hitting the shield. And then I'm going to click OK. A new condition called Alien is Overlapping the Shield is added to the on loop explosion condition. So now we'll just test the game. Now we'll just let them explode. That's exactly what we want to happen. So now we're going to add Lab 7. This is Lab 7. In Lab 7, we're going to add a health meter You're going to add a health meter that tracks the health of the shield. So now I'm going to go back to um, the frame editor. And now I'm going to add a counter object. I'm going to insert a new object. And I'm going to click um, data. And I'm going to click a counter. Go OK. I'm going to place it in the gray area. You don't want to play or you just yet. So I'm going to change it so it looks like a horizontal bar. So to change it to a horizontal bar, I'm going to come over here in the properties and make sure that that um, prop, uh, settings icon is selected here. Next to type where it says numbers, I come on down, I'm going to put vertical bar, or horizontal bar rather, sorry. Next to count uh, from left. So I'm going to add a gradient to the counter object. So I'm going to make sure I'm selected here. In the Properties toolbar next to Fill Type, I'm going to click Solid Color. And I choose Gradient instead. So next to Color 2, I'm going to click Light Green. In Color 1, I'm going to click Red. So now I'm going to resize the object so it's the right size for my game. Now the health meter looks like a bar that gradually changes color from one side to the other. So now I'm going to resize a counter object so the right size to fit my game. So I'm going to make sure it's selected, which it is. So now I'm going to resize this so it's about half as tall as it is right now. Like that. So I'm going to position it on the left side of the play area just above the shield. So I'm going to set the values of the counter object. In the frame editor, make sure the counter object is selected. In the properties toolbar, I'm going to click the settings icon. I'm going to change the initial value to 100. I'm going to ch change the minimum value to 0, and I'm going to change the maximum value to 100. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create an action that subtracts 5 from the counter object when the alien collides with the shield. So I'm going to go View, Event Editor, and then in the collision between the alien and shield row, in the counter column, I'm going to right click the box then click um, subtract from counter. So I come over here, right click, subtract from counter. So I'm going to subtract 5 and click OK. So now I'm going to test the game. So we're going to let that go smaller and smaller. So there, the health bar is all gone, and this is the end of Lab 7.